I thought it might be a good idea to be introduced to my guides, guardian angels, and so on. Yes, God bless you, indeed. The very first thing I did want to remember is that you work with the very, very many, God bless you, indeed, here. All human beings do. But those that you exist in what you might call your inner circle, God bless you, indeed. Those that, indeed, my infant here are working with you at all times, right here and right now. Indeed, my infant are in numbers of three, God bless you, indeed. The first and foremost of which my infant is the Archangel Michael. Indeed, you've worked here with the Archangel Michael for many, many years and many, many lifetimes, God bless you, indeed. And indeed, my infant, he shows up in your inner circle very frequently, God bless you, indeed. Indeed, my infant, here, if you had what you might call a guardian angel, he would be it, God bless you, indeed. And indeed, my infant, truly here, like your gatekeeper, like the individual here that manages or indeed, my infant, here instructs most of your other guides, he is that individual. The Archangel Michael is extraordinary for you, dear friend, because indeed, truly, he holds with him here the experience always of balance. Just as we mentioned a bit ago, my infant, as it concerns the opening statement, and we want to part you upon the back for all the spiritual work that you're doing. But also, dear friend, we are wanting here to part you upon the back for the grand yes that you've said to your humanity, to indeed the ways in which you have deepened your self-love, can bless you indeed. The Archangel Michael is a very good guide here who works with you as it concerns the balance, allowing my dear not only here that you can balance the spirit and the planet, but balancing how much energy you put out into the planet Earth, but also how much you bring in and receive, balancing your masculine and feminine dynamics and indeed my different energies and frequencies, balancing my different here, what creative flow you are indeed allowing as it concerns you, what your guides call the muses and indeed my different your channeling, so to speak, as well as indeed my infant how much action to put forth here where indeed the inspiration is and where indeed my infant here you are putting out effort so indeed the archangel michael is a very very good guy to call upon when indeed my infant you are simply wanting to have more balance to experience more of the balance or to simply be aware of the balance here that you already have indeed if you feel here at times that indeed my infant you are getting caught up and what you might call here the very humanness of your experience, indeed, my dear friend, you can call him in. But also, if indeed, my dear friend, you catch yourself here, indeed, feeling ungrounded, or indeed, my dear friend, here, you might flit off into the ethers here, so to speak. I bless you, indeed. He's also a good guy to call in, my dear friend. Good, very, very frequently, when you spend time with him, or indeed, my dear friend, you invite him in meditation. Indeed, you'll find here that he shows up a wee bit upon your right side, I bless you, indeed. And very frequently, he comes with a bit here of a warmth. Indeed, many, many times here, once you get the hint here of experiencing him, you'll feel him, my infant here, because he comes with a bit of a warmth. Indeed, your body will get a bit warm, or indeed you'll feel here a rise in temperature here when he is a bit closer, God bless you, indeed. Indeed, my infant, he loves you very, very dearly. And indeed, you have worked with him, as we talk about here, through the many, many lifetimes and many years. But most especially right here and right now, as you are balancing, profoundly balancing, both the spirit and the planet, and indeed bringing that balance out, my infant, into your creative endeavors here to the planet Earth. Indeed, my infant, he is the very closest guy to you right here and right now. Indeed, my infant, you are also working here with a team of guides that indeed my infant here work with healing energy in one form or another. Uh, this includes my infant here, uh, goodness, uh, who you might refer to here, my infant as indeed my infant called uh, Yin, as well as indeed my infant here, uh, goodness, the uh, violet light here, and of Saint Germain, that bless you indeed. Indeed, my infant, other groupings here, my infant of healers, not just my infant here as it concerns healing the sick to the whale, but indeed, my infant here, healers, my infant here, as it concerns understanding here, the flow of the oneness of the universe, as well as my infant here, the reflection of the planet Earth because of it. Indeed, shamans, uh, uh, medicine men and women, Galileo and Dim. There's a team, my infant here, that we are going to see here. We see my infant as one guide, but actually here, it is a team, like a round table, Galileo and Dim. So indeed, my infant, you can refer to them as anything that you want, but they are your team of healers, your, um, once again, like your round table here of seers, God bless you indeed. And indeed, my infant, truly here, once again, Kuan Yin here, and indeed, my infant, uh, Saint Germain here are among them. But indeed, my infant, they are just two of approximately 14 to 15 here from our perspective, God bless you indeed. They come to you during this time, my infant, because quite a lot of the creative work that you're doing in the moment, and indeed, my infant, the work that you do upon the planet Earth, also has a connection here to the healing. 
not my defenders we talk about here, dealing my defenders necessarily here, the sick to the will here, the dead to the living, but indeed my defenders to the reminding of individuals here of who they truly are, allowing that indeed my defenders at long last, all individuals are already having, already housing <clears throat> everything that they might request, might ask for. So everything is simply the revealing, I bless you indeed. Indeed, many of these guides here, in particular my infant here, what you might refer to her as the, um, we call them seers, but indeed my infant, truly here, you might refer to them here as, uh, goodness, the... God bless you indeed, uh, um, medicine men, medicine women, God bless you indeed, here, seers of tribes, etc. God bless you indeed. These are guides I did think primarily here, who indeed are not there to instruct, but are here to remind and to remember my did think here. So that when individuals here come to them here because they are sick or ailing or sad, God bless you indeed, and they, might, they simply bring them back here into the traditions here that the individual already knows. So indeed, they do not take them down, down new paths, they simply might did think here, but am I the individual that they've not walked the path for quite some time, God bless you indeed. So for you, my infant, this grouping of healers wants to give a message. And they want to remind you, my infant, that truly all human beings have a list, for instance, here, of things that they need to as it concerns being a very powerful human being. Indeed, certainly, my infant, upon everyone's list is indeed, my infant, here, food and water and rest, God bless you indeed. But for you, my infant, they are wanting here for you to write down a couple of other things here, if you haven't already, of the things that you know that indeed my infant here, good as you, as Kevin, are needing upon the planet Earth or wanting upon the planet Earth to have an extraordinary existence. For instance, indeed my infant here, you may find that indeed a life here without creative flow or without my infant here, human touch or interaction here is simply not worth living. That indeed my infant here, that you may find that when you indeed you are not meditating upon a regular basis, that indeed my infant here, you find that depression might set in here, or you find yourself getting off track. Indeed, these guides, this grouping of healers, is wanting here for you to make a list of about five or six things that indeed you know are very important for you as Kevin to be a human being upon the planet Earth. Indeed, the food, the water, the rest, yes. Is it also meditation? Is it also connection here to uh, good spirit or a connection here to planet Earth, my different in nature? Is it connection, my different, to human touch or to music, my different here, or to dance, God bless you indeed. Indeed, my different, it matters not what it is, but they're wanting here for you to discover it. They're wanting for you to write it down. And this is important, dear friend. Because right here and right now, as the ego and the mind is attempting here to have you feeling as if indeed, my friend, you can do a right thing or a wrong thing, do it the right way or the wrong way, this is never truly the case. So what you're doing, my friend, is you're reminding yourself that many times, not only for you, but for all human beings, when individuals feel off track, it's not because you've done anything off track at all. It's simply, my friend, here, because momentarily, you have forgotten or indeed might have put upon uh, the uh, shelf one or two here of the things that you know that you need to thrive. God bless you and Dean. So this is that message to you, God bless you and Dean. My infant, you are also working, my infant, here, with what we call here the Maria, or indeed, my infant, here, the Mother Mary, here, uh, goodness, the Maria energy. Indeed, my infant, she comes in during a time period which, my infant, you are not only wanting, but having a very deep preference for nurturing, I believe you, indeed. That indeed, my infant, here, goodness, you have been working upon deep levels of love of self. And indeed, my infant, although you work here with other guides here, as we talk about here, the Kuan Yin, and indeed, my infant, here, good as you work with Krishna energy, God bless you, indeed, my infant, here, you work with a team of, indeed, my infant, the divine feminine here. Indeed, my infant, the Maria energy comes in simply to nurture, simply to hold, simply to rock the energy of you, as indeed, my infant, here, you are deepening your own experiences of love. So when, indeed, my infant, you find that you're in judgment of self, or then indeed, my infant, for instance, you may be attempting here to deepen your self-love, but you, good as the mind or the ego here is getting in the way a little bit, God bless you, indeed. Indeed, the Maria energy, the Mother Mary energy, is a very good guide to call upon my infant here. Indeed, she will simply swoop in, so to speak, to indeed hold your heart, to nurture your energy, to give you respite a wee bit, my infant, here during times in which your mind tells you that you must continue to go and go and go, but your heart is simply wanting here to rest for a bit, God bless you indeed. So indeed, these are the guides, and indeed, my infant, of course, the group of guides here who are working in your inner circle in the moment. 
but goodness gracious, my dear Kevin, we love you so very dearly. Indeed, doubt not here that indeed, my dear friend, you are working with thousands upon thousands here of the guides in the universal oneness. Can you weigh in on that fierce to earth debate of intelligent design versus evolution? God bless you indeed. So indeed, my dear friend, uh, good to see you. Is that too broad of a question? It's or? all right, not too early. God bless you indeed here. Intelligent design, indeed. God bless you indeed here. So indeed, my dear friend, truly. What we see here, from our perspective, my dear friend, is that it's difficult. When individuals, my dear friend, speak about intelligent design, it is very frequently, from our perspective, spoken about, my dear friend, here as it concerns religious context. And we all know this, but indeed, my dear friend, truly here, goodness, as there has been many, my dear friend, here, goodness, of those that have come before, my dear friend, not only here, humanity, but indeed, my dear friend, here, the conscious humanity, indeed, my dear friend, and remembering here, of course, that everything is God, God bless you, indeed. So from our perspective, my dear friend, Goodness, although life itself is indeed my infant here, always and ever changing and shifting, and indeed my infant here, to allowing for itself my infant here, uh, goodness to evolve. So indeed my infant here, evolution certainly does occur. God bless you, indeed my infant, uh, goodness species, and indeed my infant here. Beings adapt to their surroundings. God bless you indeed here. Uh, goodness, not only might even to maintain survival, but indeed might in the case of human beings, uh, now might have here to investigate, to explore, might have the reaches of your brains. But indeed might have here, um, once again, from our perspective, we might have the definition incorrect, but indeed might have intelligent design from our perspective energetically here holds very, very frequently that indeed God is directing it here. And we honor this. And so indeed, my dear, we will say that, yes, God is directing it, but only, my dear, here because God is directing everything, because everything is God. God bless you, indeed. So the very evolution, my dear, here, that when indeed, my dear, for instance, here, goodness, there is evolution of a species here, when, uh, goodness, my dear, here, the red butterfly here turns gray, because indeed, my dear, it can adapt more and more frequently here and be less seen by predators, my dear, here, as indeed the trees, the barks of the trees go gray. Indeed, my infant, it, the butterfly, in its infinite wisdom as God, has chosen my infant here to make adaptations, at least you indeed. So nothing is happening by accident. Nothing is happening coincidentally. Nothing is happening, my infant here, because uh, goodness, my infant, accidentally here, the right bit of water dropped into the right bit, my infant here, of cell structure. Indeed, it's, it's never coincidental. But indeed, my infant, is it being directed by one specific energy that is separated here from the all? No. From our perspective here, everything is God. So indeed the collective consciousness of God essence energy, of love, of perfection, of joy, is indeed my infant allowing for the adaptations here of the all. At least you indeed everything's working together from our perspective. So indeed Well, I agree, I agree. I just I'm trying to, to incorporate that into my scripts because here, I mean whole school systems decide their teaching curriculum based on that which one is, are they gonna teach, the intelligent design or the are the um, evolution not realizing that it is all just one, but I mean that's just a, a, a part of, of the level of awareness on earth at this particular time that they're still at the place that they're making that they're not able to see that the unification of the two principles. So mm -hmm. I was just, I love hearing your description of things, even though I kind of have an idea to how to present it. But again, I just, I love how you share and express things and explain things. And, mm -hmm. and it always adds something new, definitely. Yes, God bless you indeed. We honor that. It's wonderful, dear friend, here, as an aside. Just, uh, the more and more, not only my difference, you do this project here, but indeed my different here, as you navigate here, the planet Earth, especially right here and right now, you'll see that indeed my infant very, very frequently, uh, good as my infant individuals here, human beings, are choosing here to have things split into two, at least you indeed here, that uh, right here and right now, the old partnering my infant here of having two separate things, at least you indeed, is very, very common. There are no rights or wrongs, but indeed my infant, to understand here that, uh, goodness gracious, my infant, uh, when individuals begin to see this illusion of separation, and indeed, my infant, it's either the head of the coin or the tail of the coin, God bless you indeed here. It's either, my infant, here, one political party or another. It's either, my infant, man or woman. It's either, my infant, here, burden or indeed, my infant, here, celebration, etc. 
that indeed might intrude, certainly here. The very black or white is or is not energy of this, although it is sometimes frustrating to those minded friends that are, I should talk about understanding the unification of all things. Actually, my dear friend, here, indeed, the very fact here that it is or it is not, that very, very frequently it comes down to two things instead of twelve, for instance, here, means that indeed, my dear friend, the unification here is getting um, faster, it's getting closer, I bless you, indeed. So, indeed, my dear friend, truly here, uh, we simply, as a, an experiment, as a spiritual experiment here, indeed, my dear friend, we want you here to begin to notice where, indeed, my dear friend, uh, this duality shows up. And indeed, my dear friend, the more and more that individuals can hold to the duality, indeed, my dear friend, the more that they are able to give up that power. God bless you, indeed. When individuals begin to understand oneness, and as you talk about here, unification, we love that word. Indeed, my dear friend, it would be impossible to deny one's own power, because if you are unified with everything, then you are unified with, indeed, the essence here of all power. If indeed, my dear friend, here, you take your five dollars and you put it, my dear friend, here with the five hundred billion dollars that someone else has, then indeed, my dear friend, truly, here, there's unification. You have it all already. And so indeed, my dear friend, when there is unification, then struggle or challenge or fear transforms itself almost immediately. And so indeed, my dear friend, simply as a spiritual experiment, you can begin here to watch where individuals cling to duality so that they can cling to the, the old patterning here of simple survival, of just getting by, of the old belief here that you must struggle a bit here in order to be deserving. That unification, my infant, although it sounds very, very wonderful, and it is, is very scary to many individuals. Simply, my infant, here, because it would be about suddenly having everything they asked for. God bless you, indeed. Just as a meditation or something to look at here as you're navigating here, the ins and the outs here of, indeed, my different planet Earth. Yes? Does it make sense to you? Yes. 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 God bless you, indeed. We have a TV show here, a series which is called Star Trek. I don't know if that's it. If you are aware of TV shows and, and things that we have here on Earth, mm -hmm. but um, it's called Star Trek. It's been a series that's been on, I don't know, 40, 50 years. And, and the main body of the characters, they're basically it's a galactic federation of planets where, the, um, of course, Earth being the main primary one is, as the story plot line goes. And then, of course, they interact in light ships that can travel at light speed and of course their motto is um, it's, uh, a galaxy uh, where no person has gone before so they go explore the galaxy their prime directive at least as is presented in the story is that they are not allowed to interfere with the development of other less advanced worlds is there a, a prime directive that applies to other worlds pertaining to earth that they're not that are more advanced and they're not supposed to interfere with the, the functioning of Earth. Certainly, the Indian minded frontier. There are good species, or indeed minded frontier, the collectives of beings who have a very similar motto, or indeed minded frontier, good insistence here, to not interfere. God bless you indeed here, to not good as minded frontier. Yes. Yes, do not interfere or not by the infant here. Um, profoundly educate, so to speak. I bless you indeed here. Absolutely indeed. Not all beings have this prime directive, as you call it. I bless you indeed. So indeed, my infant certainly here. Indeed, your very planet Earth has absolutely, my dear friend, here, had encounters with beings who, indeed, my dear friend, did not necessarily have this prime directive here, who, indeed, my dear friend, have powerful levels of technology and, indeed, my dear friend, here, understanding an available minded frontier to help or to teach minded frontier good as human beings, good as certain levels minded frontier of expansion or intelligence here, yes, certainly. But indeed, there are beings minded frontier in many other areas here who have this very same prime directive, but not all have them, yes. Interesting. What prime those, directive. Some of those advantages, I mean, it's pretty common knowledge. I mean, there's so many sightings of UFOs and all that. So it's for the majority of people on Earth. I mean, it's, it's reasonably understood that there are advanced, intelligent, and they are visiting Earth. What stops them from landing their spaceship, so to speak, on the White House lawn and saying, hello, world, um, and take me to your leader, I don't know, to introducing themselves? What keeps them from doing that when they obviously could? Yes, Gamblish, indeed, wonderful question. It is twofold from our perspective here. Wonderful question, dear friend. The first and foremost, my dear friend, here, is that, um, good 
these particular beings, Mighty Frontier in particular here, that have been uh, good as visiting Earth, Mighty Frontier, and making themselves known, are not uh, very powerfully directed by ego, Gabriel Schuendi. So the ego, Mighty Frontier, as you might describe it here in human beings, uh, indeed, as you call it here, take me to your leader, Gabriel Schuendi, Mighty Frontier, to make themselves known, to need to make themselves known. Indeed, they are not connected to it here. They don't have a, a good as, um, a same understanding of ego. So indeed, might even be egoic nature here. So, uh, good to say, there's a necessity here to make themselves known. They do, but not out of indeed my different here. Look at me, look at me type experience. It is truly my different here about individuals here who are open, individuals who are curious. Indeed, my different uh, good as they want to have the interconnection there, or they are curious as well here. So they have the interconnection, etc. God bless you indeed. And also my different here. Many of these individuals here that are uh, becoming aware of themselves, my different, or you are becoming aware of the my different upon the planet Earth here, indeed are quite aware of the levels here of fear that human beings are working through in the moment. So for them, my different here, to come down, to land upon the White House lawn, as you talk about my different here, Goodness, uh, not only my different here would this bring about an extraordinary level of fear. Uh, goodness, might even by those here who were uh, goodness right might different here in, in the lawn, so to speak. But indeed, might different it would exacerbate the levels of fear in the moment of those people upon my planet Earth might even large. So indeed, uh, goodness, the majority might even of the individuals here. Oh, good as the beings that are uh, good as my different uh, coming into contact with human beings are indeed doing so to raise awareness to um, help my different with the levels of my different of fear to assist in indeed my different here individuals working through primitive emotions so to speak I you indeed so indeed my different uh, to simply show themselves here to the all that is would absolutely my different here uh, good as um, allow here for uh, quite a panic, so to speak, here upon your planet Earth in the moment, until human beings begin to work with levels of fear, deeper experiences individually. And you might even find here that communication in powerful, powerful ways here with the uh, goodness ETs or extraterrestrial beings here, that it is uh, still a bit in your future here. Do you understand? Okay. So they have the sense that they knew that they their arrival would not be, it would not be beneficial for the, the the planetary evolution are the for Earth at this time, so they have that understanding of that presence of mind, I guess. Yes, I bless you indeed. And indeed, my yes. truly, good as if they were to make themselves powerfully known right here and right now, good as certainly here, as you're aware, many human beings might have been here would ask that indeed my different here, good as the response be violence to understand, I bless you indeed. And indeed, my different, it is not necessary here for them to, mm, goodness, experience something here that would elicit violence, do you understand? Okay, yes. okay, thank you. Yes. Now, are there somewhere in the galaxy the same way that they're portrayed, like on the Star Trek episode or this other series, Star Wars? I mean, of course, the name kind of is, is, it says a lot. Are there planets that are in conflict with each other the way it's kind of represented in science fiction where they're in battle with each other probably similar to the way that countries here are in conflict with each other yes bless you indeed it exists absolutely here indeed my different jobs as you mentioned here you've hit, you've hit the nail right upon the head here that the ways in which my different human beings uh, goodness my different of different culture um, or indeed by different different nationality here a different religious backgrounds begin to bicker with one another my different here uh, goodness start wars or indeed my different challenge one another uh, goodness different races my different of beings here also do the very same god bless you it exists upon my different the universal oneness indeed now, wouldn't the dynamics of that of that of the, those planets and stuff? Wouldn't that be representative of a type of illusion of separation? Because ultimately, um, all those beings, all those myriad of beings in all their physical forms, they're all they, they are us, and we are them. We are all the same soul, but just merely in different forms, all with the same God. Yeah. Correct? Absolutely, God bless you indeed. Oh yes, all. Yes. Remember, my dear friend here, that we are all this. Yes, it's all connected, my dear friend here. All of the same God, all of the same oneness energy. God bless you, indeed. Absolutely. But there are other, my dear friend here, the goodest beings who hold the illusion of separation as well. Absolutely. God bless you. Not all, but indeed, my dear friend here, they indeed they exist. Absolutely. It's considered a sin 
in, well, pretty much to be gay, but it's also more so for gay people to marry. What can you give me your thoughts on, on, on that? Hmm. I from my perspective, I didn't find fashion for most here. Homosexuality, I didn't find here. What is, exists in almost each and every single species, God bless you, in the point of planet Earth. So when the find here, good as, as we do not see any level of sin in anything, God bless you indeed here, yeah, that good as might find we are not seeing here um, sins or blessings here, yeah, that all things might find are examples and experiences here of the unfolding Godhood. So when the might find what we see here is that the struggle that indeed my different uh, good as your particular planet or indeed my different here your particular country here are having not only my different here with homosexuality but indeed my different here with indeed my different here marriage rights or indeed my different permissions etc is simply once again my different here the holding at arm's length here this illusion of separation indeed my different in the very same way here that as we talk about here if individuals can see duality if indeed my different they can feel separate from one another then indeed my different here they hold at arm's length this inclusion this unification here and therefore Indeed, they hold at arm's length here, their true empowerment. Indeed, my different... It's part of the grand work of human beings, God bless you indeed, to understand that indeed everything, everyone, every experience is God, God bless you indeed. And then indeed, my different here, just like no one, my different upon the planet Earth, has the very same nose as anyone else. Indeed, my different, there are differences here in your appearance or in my different here. You're going to show hair texture or structure, your sexual preferences. Indeed, my different here. You're going to swear you wish to live under a palm tree or under a pine tree. God bless you, indeed, my different here. But you are all God. So indeed, my different, in the moment here, a good as, uh, the particular experience, or indeed my different here, the, um, what we'll call here, the intensity directed here towards homosexuality, or indeed my different here, the permission of being able here to marry an individual of the same sex, is what your guys by different simply call here um, the headline of the day. For indeed my different, this has not always been a concern within your human beings, God bless you indeed. A good as, um, concern over homosexuality, my different here, has not always uh, been a taboo, or indeed my different something here to be concerned or worried about, God bless you indeed. So indeed my different, remembering here that um, by holding an illusion of separation, by separating yourselves, or indeed my different here, by seeing here that there are differences, indeed my different, this not only does it eliminate, or indeed my different hold at arm's length your unification, but it also disempowers you, God bless you indeed. So if indeed my different you as human beings here can work with one race against another, or with one sexual orientation against another, or indeed my different one political party over against another, now indeed my different truly here, where this unification does not occur, then indeed my different here, good as your power is separated, God bless you indeed. Now you have 48 small armies instead of indeed my different here, one big communal experience, God bless you indeed. So in the moment my different here, it's just a manifestation of human beings, are the collective, but the large, God bless you indeed, to indeed see duality, to see my different here separatism and separation, my different here, the illusion of separation, so that indeed my different you can begin here to work through it. Again, goodness, my different here, truly, from our perspective, powerfully in your lifetime, you'll find my different here, the taboo of homosexuality begins here to indeed my different uh, transform itself to diminish. And indeed my different here, goodness, the rights and availability of my different here for marriage and indeed my different here for connection will indeed be granted here to the very, very many. Goodness, all things are being worked through. The slight illusion of separation in the moment here as it concerns homosexuality is just as your guides call it here, the banner or the headline of the day. It's just the one way in the moment here that individuals are working through the illusion of separation. Does it make sense to you, dear friend? Yes, yes. So there's some of those getting better, so to speak. I mean, they, they, they keep people are keep expanding their understanding and are seeing that uh, they're not they're so judgmental, and so they are, there is a lot more understanding in that direction, even now. Yes, absolutely. God bless you indeed here. Indeed, my infant. And the understanding of my infant is increasing here. And indeed, my infant here, good as the, the unification here is occurring because you're hearing more about it. God bless you indeed. 
that indeed Madi Dufunti, uh, so the more and more Madi Dufunti that it comes to the forefront, the more individuals begin to speak about it here, the less taboo it becomes. The more Madi Dufunti that you say bad words, or indeed Madi Dufunti that you might mention Madi Dufunti or something that was taboo before, uh, so the more that it's mentioned here, the more Madi Dufunti that the energy becomes familiar, the more familiar it becomes, the less taboo it becomes. God bless you indeed. Right, right. It's that's wonderful. That's pretty much the process what's happening. Yes, God bless you indeed. Powerful, wonderful, God bless you indeed here. Indeed, the powerful unification of the all that is. There was a lot of literature, and even by Edgar Casey and remember Ruth Montgomery and reputable sites, let's say. It was, I mean, in many of the literature, it was understood or expressed almost in a matter of fact sense that there was to be a dramatic earth shift prior to the turn of the century, which obviously never, I mean, I mean, shifting of the poles, I mean, a dramatic earth shift, and which never happened. Um, can you elaborate on that? Yes, I bless you indeed here. There has been very powerful levels here of difference and change might even energetically. But truly, what was predicted, so to speak, might have here as it concerns uh, the physicality of the planet Earth, which indeed might have here would have caused quite a lot of difference here, not only in your experience might have of life and indeed might have here uh, in the population, etc. here. It's no longer necessary. It wasn't necessary here. And indeed, this would have been necessary, my dear friend, truly here, as individuals were working through deep levels of fear. So indeed, the more and more my dear friend, here that individuals work upon their spirituality, the more that they deepen their understanding of the all that is, the more my dear friend, here that truly they bring themselves closer and closer to personal and individual unification. Therefore, my dear friend, here, they are unifying uh, good as one another as well. God bless you indeed here. Then very dramatic earth changes no longer become necessary. Indeed, my dear friend, here, the very same way that indeed, for instance, your guides tease, that indeed, my dear friend, here, if you're trying to get someone's attention here and they're not paying attention, so you must, my dear friend, not only say their name, but yell their name, God bless you indeed, to get their attention. And my dear friend, when your voice gets loud enough, finally, my dear friend, here, they look up with a start with their eyes wide open here and they say, yes, goodness, what is it, God bless you indeed here. But you've had to yell across the room to them, God bless you indeed, in a very loud uh, manner. Indeed, if uh, instead... An individual here has indeed might have been chosen to become present. If indeed might have been they're very present in the moment here that they're in. If they're listening might have been here to the all that is around them here. If they're uh, treating themselves with kindness and indeed might have been dear love. Then we are even in a crowded room. If you might mention their name, they're going to hear you. God bless you indeed. And look up gently and say hello. How can I help you? So indeed, my dear friend, the more and more individual spiritual work that uh, good as human beings have done, indeed with love and kindness, and it's been wonderful, indeed the less and less here that the loud shouting, so to speak, is necessary, and the less, my dear friend, here that the earth is needing here to shake you awake, because you're awaking yourselves, do you understand? You, could I, can I rephrase that in a sense that in the use example of, let's say, Earth or the shift would have been, let's say, like a, a pressure cooker that was building up and which that, I guess, maybe because of the environment's being damaged with it, ozone layer and smog and stuff, that the balance of the Earth, that the shift was ultimately uh, uh, the Earth attempting to rebalance itself and which was, of course, the Earth the energy of the earth being affected, affected by the collective of the people on the earth, let's say just in general, it's a negativity, but because of the increased level of awareness, it allowed some of the steam from the pressure cooker to be released, and so the, that it was diverted by, by humanity evolving, evolving that kind of help to diffuse the situation, as it were. Yes, God bless you indeed. We like that metaphor very, very dearly. Absolutely, my dear friend, here. Yeah. It's a wonderful way to put it here. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, that's the way that just seems so logical and one of my mind is dealt on to that principle. Mm -hmm. I mean, people, I mean, we're so convinced and of course people throw bunkers and prepare and store food and absolutely sure that it was going to happen and stuff. And then I, of course, I had no reason to doubt when it was expressed by your case and other ones that I, I mean, it was just kind of exciting, this trend, the possibility of transition, the growth and whatnot. So that just seemed the logical sense to me that it was diverted just because, not because God said, well, you know what? I'm going to give them another 20 years to see if they can get their act together. They, in effect, they got our act together, as it were. And so we're, 
it just was diverted for that as a result of that. Yes. So, I mean, that's what always, that's the way that I seem logical to me. Absolutely, God bless you indeed, my dear friend here. You feel the nail upon the head. It's a wonderful way to describe it. God bless you indeed here. And here we have agencies like the Environmental Protection Agency, the Department of Fish and Game, and Forestry Service, and, and so on. I'm sure uh, with the, we, you must have, or obviously there are agencies similar or kind of with the same principle about on your side who monitor Earth in its various aspects. Can you kind of explain, uh, tell me about them? God bless you, Indeed. So indeed, my dear friend, for the purposes of the project here, yeah, indeed there are. These are indeed agencies, or what you might call groups of souls, that indeed, my dear friend, here, are engaging upon, my dear friend, here, the assistance of the earth plane. In particular, my dear friend, here, and usually, it is about, my dear friend, the interconnections here of humans and indeed, my dear friend, here, species with the planet Earth. So, for instance, there are collections, my dear friend, of individuals here upon the spirit side that work with the planet Earth and human beings as it concerns music and indeed, my dear friend, its influence and indeed, my dear friend, what it's doing here upon the planet Earth and how it can be utilized even more profoundly. How indeed, my dear friend, the plants and the animals here and human beings even, my dear friend, the very hearts of human beings grow when indeed exposed to certain kinds of music. This is a very uh, powerful uh, goodness, agency, as you might call it, might infant here. And even Certainly, this might have been here uh, underneath what you might call here the hierarchy, although there is none, of course, but underneath might have been the heading here of in and all of might have been what you might call art or the muses, God bless you indeed here. The muse or the creative genius energy might have been here shows itself not only as it concerns the energy of music, but as it concerns the energy of art, awakening more and more artistic ability here in individuals, allowing my infant for individuals here to stop looking down here at their feet and look up my infant to the sky, or to indeed my infant engage here in their creative expansion, etc. So indeed my infant there are agencies of art, uh, you can say it here for the project, and that agency my infant, so to speak, here, indeed um, divvies out here the information or indeed the energy of, of music or indeed my dear friend here, um, connections here to other formations here of muse and artistic ability here, building, uh, creationism my dear friend here of uh, constructs of architecture here are underneath this very same heading as well. Indeed there are other agencies my dear friend here in terms of your project here other agencies that concerns indeed human beings interaction here with animals and indeed the interaction here with planet earth itself so indeed the intercommunication here of human beings and indeed all of the other animal species insect species here upon the planet earth as an agency for this helping here for individuals here to know how powerfully connected they are and indeed helping here for animals to also might infant do their groundwork with energy and indeed might infant here a collection of frequency to assist individuals might infant upon the uh, goodness human now aspect to open up, to understand, to surrender, God bless you indeed. And the minded friend, truly here, uh, good agencies minded friend here of the very planet Earth itself, helping here to allow for there to be an extraordinary level of renewal. Indeed, spirits minded friend here who are wanting to work dynamically with the Mother Gaia herself. And indeed, minded friend, much like a support system, the Mother Gaia indeed holds an energy, yes, by herself, but indeed the Mother Gaia also has guides, God bless you indeed, and indeed a support system here. So indeed, she is not without her grouping here of individuals that support her upon the spirit side my dear friend those here that let her know that as a planet as an energy of a planet that she's doing a very good job that there are powerful levels of renewable resources here and the ways in which my dear friend here she is helping uh, human beings and human beings are helping my dear friend planet here understand about renewing and indeed my dear friend love and openness here that nothing has a beginning or an end etc god bless you indeed all things can be planted and grown again etc the renewal the reciprocation here the circulation energy here there's an agency for this an agency might infant here for indeed the intercommunication here of spirit and planet. Those might infant here that are wanting to interconnect might infant here and uh, goodness either lower or thin the veils here of the very many might infant that are wanting to have communication and contact here with spirit side, with heaven, with those that have passed, with ghosts or entities or energies here, etc. God bless you indeed. An agency might infant here are of groupings of guides here that work with art. God bless you indeed here. In all the different formations here, the psychic or mediumship or healing, God bless you indeed here. There's an agency might have been here for healing itself and indeed might have been all of the modalities here of the ways in which individuals <clears throat> either might have been choose healing or 
even more powerfully, how indeed might it, individuals could understand that healing is already something within them, that it's not something here they're getting, but something they're revealing here. Uh, in fact, might it, there's a very, very strong energy in this particular agency going on upon your planet Earth right here and right now. Are the individuals here upon the spirit side that are working with the planet Earth and indeed human beings to understand him? That they are never broken, that they are never they are never less than whole or perfect. I believe you indeed. So indeed, the many different modalities here, or indeed my different availabilities here for kinds of healing are very good. But indeed, my different there's a very strong push, in particular upon your planet Earth right here and right now, of those upon the spirit side reminding individuals and the planet Earth itself that indeed. Healing is not something you get, it's something you already have. God bless you indeed. It's a wonderful, wonderful work. Indeed, my infant, there are agencies here that work with the beings, my infant, here that exists uh, goodness, at the very core of the planet Earth here. The uh, beings, my infant, here that are existing here in other planets. And indeed, my infant, anything that you might call internal or extraterrestrial, God bless you indeed, beings. Indeed, agencies for this. And indeed, my infant, here, it goes on and on and on and on here. This is indeed, my infant, here, uh, truly for the purposes of the project. Oh, goodness, this is a very good start. But indeed, my infant, truly, there is an infinite amount of agencies, as you might call them, because there's an infinite amount of interest. That even my infant here, if you worked very hard to qualify my infant life upon the planet Earth into eight segments or 12 segments, can bless you indeed. That indeed, my infant, truly, here, goodness, the amount of things or experiences or opportunities that you can have upon the planet Earth is infinite. So indeed, there are infinite agencies here, and indeed, my infant, when individuals pass through the spirit side, if they are not choosing to have an incarnation, my infant, right away, or if and even if they are, I believe sure indeed, they can also still work, my infant, here in one of these agencies, or indeed, my infant, here assist in something here that brings them great delight, or indeed, my infant, here that uh, helps them here to indeed, my infant, learn their own lessons all the while, that they are indeed, my infant, helping not only planet Earth, but other beings, other planets, other solar systems. Are the universe has got issue indeed. I've always kind of pondered. Um, I often ask people, like, well, what, you know, one of my questions is, well, what do you believe happens when you die or when you pass on? And most, the majority of the questions are like, I have no idea, and I don't think about it because it's not possible to know, so I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm going to wait till I get there. And then, and then, um, of course, the other common statement is like, well, I go to heaven and I sit at the right hand side of God, and I'm like, and I, I always joke, and I'm like. Shit, for all eternity, the right hand side of God is like, I get bored with a long weekend. I mean, yes. don't you think we do things? We kind of work, to, we're involved with the process. So, like, well, you know, I never really thought about that. So, I was trying to put that into the story that to kind of to make the afterlife, I mean, from the earth perspective, a very productive, a very full matter of fact existence. So, that's why I was kind of trying to find things that people do and souls yes. do on, this, on your side to kind of to make it more tangible, I guess you might say. Indeed. God bless you, indeed. Absolutely. Indeed, my infant, truly, we quite agree with you here. Indeed, my infant, now, good as my infant here, sitting in the right hand of God, there is truth in this, God bless you, indeed, for everything is God, but indeed, my infant, nothing ever just sits, God bless you, indeed. Things, my infant, are in constant motion, constant movement from our perspective here. So, indeed, my infant, we quite agree here with you that, indeed, my infant, truly here, our souls, and indeed, my infant, as they return here to the energy that they are, Indeed, my dear, when you are upon the spirit side in the unseen, you are continuously co-creating. You are continuously moving. You're in constant motion. God bless you indeed here. And then indeed, my dear, friend, here, you still get to have preferences. And indeed, my dear, friend, here, move your energy where you're wanting here to go. And indeed, my dear, friend, here, understanding the very biggest picture. God bless you indeed. Stagnation is a 100% illusion here as it concerns the universal oneness. Absolutely. God bless you indeed. Right, right. I mean, I kind of, it's included in my mind where, where it, people understand, well, Earth is a school and you come here to learn lessons. And my understanding is that, I mean, I mean, yeah, of course, yes, it is. But every moment of our eternal existence is really, is is a school, is a learning. We, we, there's potential for growth in every, every infinitesimal um, aspect of our cosmic existence. So everywhere is a school, technically speaking. Absolutely. God bless you indeed. 
Absolutely. And indeed, my infant here, yeah, good as your guides tease here too, not just a school, but a stage, God bless you indeed here. That you're not just learning always, my infant here, yeah. sometimes you are presenting, sometimes you are indeed, my infant here, yeah. good as my infant exploring here, yeah. the presentation, or indeed, my infant here, yeah. the action of stating things here. Yeah. It's a wonderful, wonderful energy here, wonderful opportunity to both learn, to remember, and indeed, my infant here, yeah, to possess and to indeed present. Hippipari, school and stage. Hippipari. Okay. Um, I love when you go hippipari in your enthusiasm. Yes, God bless you indeed. We get quite yeah. excited about it here, yes. I'm always excited, more excited all the time. That's why the questions keep coming faster than the answers, So, which is great, and I hope that never stops. Yes, wonderful work. Um, I, now, I, this is kind of a general summary. I mean, I've always kind of characterized it. I mean, in, in the story, I'm going to kind of, I mean, I'll expand on this, but where the concept of that Earth is a school, uh, and you like to think of it as a university in that perspective, and you come here, you enroll, which means you start taking, you come here and you, and you join the human race, which to start taking classes and then you start learning and you ultimately you go here until you have completed your classes, learned all your lessons, um, i.e. balanced all your karma and then you graduate. Uh, is that a reason, even, or even in a general sense, is that a reasonable statement or observation. Yes, absolutely. We like that metaphor very, very dearly, I believe you indeed. Indeed, my infant here, yeah. the graduation here, one, we like the metaphor very dearly. The graduation, my infant here, yeah, as it concerns the metaphor of the university upon the planet Earth, is always because you are moving on to another level of learning, whether or not my different it be a different school or indeed the school of life, God bless you indeed here, my different if you are upon the planet Earth, the school of your job or your workplace or indeed my different your travels here, etc. God bless you indeed. And indeed my different here, uh, we like the metaphor to hear of this being upon the planet Earth too in the lifetime that when indeed my different you die and indeed you go back here to the universal consciousness, the oneness here, that indeed my different truly this is the graduation you're moving on here to the next level of university the next level of learning here wonderful we like the metaphor very dearly okay then let me let not digress a little to another session that you mentioned that you said when the soul passed on you made the reference that that if they if they're going to decide to come back here meaning like being if they enrolled here and they started the classes and they incurred harm upon themselves or that which translates to unfinished lessons that they've learned here Again, I think I asked this kind of probably the same way, but wouldn't that necessitate them coming back here because they have unfinished, they haven't passed all their classes, in a matter of speaking? God bless you indeed. It would not necessitate it, my infant here. It would not be necessary, but indeed, my infant here, almost all souls would say yes to it, to understand. So all souls have complete uh, goodness choice at all times here. So if, for instance, here, indeed, you have left the planet Earth with, indeed, my infant here, uh, goodness unfinished business, nor unfinished classes that you talk about, can bless you indeed here. If there are contracts that have not been completed, which is common, can bless you indeed, absolutely. Indeed, my dear, truly, uh, goodness, then you would go to the speed side here, indeed, my infant and uh, prepare, so to speak, my infant here for your um, continuation here at the school. You would go back here to repeat these classes or to indeed my infant here take them yet again to understand. So indeed my infant truly, goodness, the graduation here to the spirit side is still a graduation, but indeed, my dear friend, you would then here get to the spirit side, understand where indeed, my dear friend, you did not necessarily here understand the particular courses or indeed the instruction here as well as you could, or you want to go back here to understand it more deeply. So indeed, you re enroll, I bless you indeed. So, goodness. Let us put it this way here. We like this better. It is never that indeed, my dear friend, here, you leave with unfinished business entirely. It is that indeed, my dear, when you pass to the spirit side, frequently, you don't complete all your contracts, but that's all right. Indeed, my dear, you're not needing here. In the very same way here that you would not go to a university and learn every single subject that indeed they were teaching. Indeed, you would study here what you were learning, and indeed, my dear, you'll get your degree in what you're getting, your degree in, God bless you indeed. But you might go to the spirit side, or you might graduate, my dear, and then decide, I want to go back to school here. I learned about art before. I want to learn about science now. And so now you go back to learn about science, God bless you indeed, taking care of some your contracts in science classes instead of art classes. So indeed, my infant, truly, here, the very same is true as a concerned spirit. You come back here to the planet Earth to take care of some of the contracts that you left undone, but you do them in different classes. You do them in slightly different ways or with a different incarnation here, so to speak. 
Uh, does that help you? Does it make sense? Right. I, I'm sure it's possible the same way as you go to university. Not all the classes are are um, like science or math. You take fun courses. I'm sure they're sold that come here just because they yeah. they love the nature and and the environment and and the ocean on Earth. And so I'm sure souls come here just for the sheer beauty of it. Absolutely. You hit a nail upon the head, my dear friend. Here. Now they are few and far between, but indeed, my dear friend, they are becoming more and more. But absolutely, individuals, my dear friend, here to kind of come down to the planet Earth with either very few or indeed practically no contracts at all, just to explore. Just to have fun, just to have the recess of it, can be an issue indeed, my dear friend here. Indeed, these are very frequently very, very expanded souls, can be an issue indeed, who are in essence on holiday upon the planet Earth. Do you understand? Yeah, how is um, a spirit, does a spirit typically come to know uh, about Earth? Did it, it exist? Did it even exist? And, and, and to make the decision to say, you know what, that seems like a great place. I think I will go and jump, I will enroll. I mean, can you touch on that? Yes, God bless you indeed. So, my dear friend, for the, for the purposes of your project here, the easiest way to explain about how a spirit either chooses Earth or hears about Earth is word of mouth, God bless you indeed. Now, indeed, my dear friend, certainly we always like to tease here that indeed there's not actually necessarily my dear friend even speaking or indeed my dear friend the terms here like you would explain it upon the planet Earth, Allah, upon the spirit side. But indeed, my dear friend, for the purpose of your project, when a spirit in essence here thinks to itself, wonders, wants, to indeed I even have a perception of experience to say I want to know more and more about fear or I want to know more and more about love or I'd like to come back my infant here uh, to an incarnation in which I can truly understand how to feel the fullness of all things notice here the balance but feel the fullness here too God bless you indeed and for the purposes of your project here uh, goodness in essence as they're thinking about that as they're pondering that God bless you indeed their guides or indeed other individuals that they might encounter here might say, I noticed that you've been thinking about wanting to feel the fullness of all things by seeing here the both the dark and the light, the right and the goodness, the left and the right here, the, uh, the extremes of both sides here. I have a wonderful place for you, for you to go do this here. It's called Planet Earth. If you're wanting to learn more about emotions, you mentioned here that you wanted to learn more about fear and love. There's an extraordinary place called Planet Earth. You must go. Then indeed, my infant here, there's an extraordinary availability here to have feelings, to have emotions in which my infant here, you sense something within the body and that sensation here manifests itself and indeed my infant here, you begin to feel certain things, God bless you indeed, and then that at times here uh, provides you with wanting to take action or indeed my infant here, that feeling, that sensation it provides you with thinking about things differently. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. If you're wanting to get things done in a feelings realm or to understand my different certain things, it's a very good place to do it here, all encompassing, all at once. So indeed, my infant, for the purpose of your project here, they hear about it through word of mouth, either from their guides or from other individuals around here, picking up upon their want to indeed experience or to express or to have an arrangement here with indeed their perception of consciousness and expansion there and so individuals will say you know where you want to go planet earth it's a wonderful place to get all of that that you wanted to get done done so much to throughout my life i just felt i, I felt unfulfilled i mean i've gone to school i don't know how many certifications and licenses i have and i go to school and the, the excitement of going to school and the learning is the fun and then i go get a job in that field and it's like i'm bored almost right away. There's no challenge to it. And I mean, I, it's been frustrating for me because, of course, in the human mind, that, that shows as being lazy or irresponsible and stuff. And that's, I get that sense from the people around me that that's, they, that's the sense that they have with me because I'm not, I don't stick to things. I don't, I don't just, I don't stick with any one thing. I jump around and from the human perspective, it just comes across as being irresponsible, lazy, and et cetera. And, that, and even that burden sometimes is frustrating for me. And but then even the general of uh, being unfulfilled or having things seem so purposeless and not, when this has come across as, uh, as being having the most purpose and seemingly the most sense of fulfillment of every, anything that I've ever done. Yes, absolutely. Indeed, my dear friend, 
You have not come down here, my dear friend of the planet Earth, to indeed perfect uh, doing one thing well. Indeed, my dear friend, you have come down here to explore your joy. Just as we describe, my dear friend, the planet Earth here as a place, my dear friend, here to explore emotions and indeed to have experiences, my dear friend, of sensations here and indeed sensory perception. Indeed, my dear friend, you are, uh, good as you talked about here, over many years you've attempted here to fall in line. You've attempted here to try to march along here with indeed, my dear friend, all of the other individuals here, and yet, indeed, my dear friend, you have begun to understand more and more powerfully, especially recently, that indeed you're here to enjoy, you're here to follow your joy, your bliss, your indeed, my dear excitement here, that this is not the place, my dear friend, this is not the planet Earth that we encourage for individuals here, to indeed, my dear friend, come down to perfect one thing perfectly, to focus only myopically, my dear friend, here, upon something, and indeed, my dear friend, then to indeed graduate from the indeed experience with having done it. Indeed, this is not the place here for planet Earth, my dear friend, here, although many individuals perceive it like this. Indeed, planet Earth is a place here to indeed experience joy, to experience happiness, to experience the sadness and the worry and the judgment too, but indeed to fall utterly in love with oneself. And indeed, my dear friend, to know here that no matter what it is that rings your bell, it is perfection. And indeed, when you're doing that here, you raise the consciousness of the planet Earth. So what you're doing right here and right now, do not worry, we know that you don't already, but do not worry, my dear friend, here that it doesn't fall in line with what indeed other individuals might say is indeed, my dear friend, society's normality. In fact, my dear friend, here, we do not necessarily encourage society's normality. We encourage, my dear friend, that individuals remember that they are beings of spirit. And that indeed, my dear friend, this unique nature of their beings of spirit are indeed, my dear friend, here it requires that you follow your joy. It requires that you choose to spend energy here with that which fills you with energy instead of that which takes it away. I had to put it simply, what I'm hoping to accomplish with this script is help others realize that they are indeed a divine and eternal in nature. With my um, reasoning being to that if one reaches this understanding about self, then obviously uh, others are also divine and eternal in nature, and therefore they wouldn't be able to harm another soul. I mean, in the principle that to love thy neighbor as thyself would be understand and understood in its fullest sense. Um, and as you know, the story is going to be built around Earth as being a, presented as being a school in a very absolute sense, and that when we go here, or we, we go here until we graduate, in a matter of speaking. So now my first question is, with that in mind, um, would you, would you, is ascension and, and graduate in the way that I, in the context of the story, are those two words interchangeable? I believe so, indeed. We absolutely see that they are. And he might have for ascension. And then can happen in several different ways. First and foremost, an individual here can pass from the spirit side in a death process to indeed might have been the spirit side here, from the planet to the spirit. And indeed, this can be considered an ascension. I believe you indeed, even though one can call it might have been here a death or indeed a good as might have been here a passing. But also might have been here, there are availabilities might have been for individuals to ascend without a physical death. I believe you indeed, in the way that one would know it here to simply transform out of the body. Or indeed, my dear friend here, to leave, goodness, the soul can leave the physical body and allow my dear friend here, the physical body, and availability here for a walk-in. Now, indeed, these are very, very, goodness, these are not my dear friend, the commonality, of course, but indeed, absolutely, ascension, and indeed, my dear friend here, passing to the spirit side or graduation here, we see that absolutely here, you could interchange all of these here. Hip, hip, re. Now, in your words, I mean, said that, well, just this is a generalization. In your words, what does it take to graduate? I mean, I, of course, we talked about meditation and prayer, which is, is an expanded level of awareness. I mean, that's, I mean, in a general sense. But in your opinion, if you were to give advice in a matter of speaking, what does it take to graduate from the school of earth? It takes surrender. And so, indeed, my friend, the surrender. And the mind infant opens you up to indeed understanding your complete and utter oneness with everything. And then my infant that is allowing for you to graduate here from the planet Earth. So there are many different ways to allow for surrender to occur, including, as you talk about here, meditation. Uh, my infant time is spent here with your own internal thoughts and indeed my infant your internal investigation here. Uh, goodness, my infant following one's joy, one's bliss, indeed listening to one's heart, God bless you indeed. Uh, goodness, my infant all of these are ways to get or to indeed my infant increase your availability to surrender. 
but there is only one thing that allows for you to graduate, and that is surrender, which indeed my infant here is that which opens you up to understanding that you have never been separated, ever. I believe you indeed. Wow, he is one the phrase, uh, being one with one's own, in one's own thoughts. Boy, I must feel ready to graduate at any moment. That's I'm not, I, I'm always in my thoughts. I'm just kidding, of course. But. God bless you, indeed. <laughs> Sorry, my dear friend, here. You are getting plenty of extra credit here, we like to teach. <laughs> yes, God bless you, indeed. Indeed, my dear friend. And truly, we do want to comment, though, however, my dear friend, that indeed the time that you spend in your thoughts here, and not just my dear friend here in your own thoughts, but the ways in which my dear friend you examine, and you go deeper into indeed my different why you're thinking certain things or how something is serving you or how indeed my different why it's shown up for you here and how you're expanding from it. We do want to honor you and tell you that not all individuals do this different here. Certainly we want for you to know that although you tease a little bit here, we are wanting to congratulate you because the internal work that you do with your thoughts is not just my different being with your thoughts but going internal to indeed my different here look at all of the whys and the hows and the things that interest you here. So you are in actuality doing very, very good work, dear friend. Indeed, uh, good to see we are not teasing when we say here that indeed, my dear friend, you are doing it here with extra credit, God bless you indeed. For indeed, my dear friend, you are not only here spending time in your thoughts, but indeed, my dear friend, you are allowing here for those to communicate back to you and vice versa here. It's a wonderful dance you're doing, dear friend. Not everyone does this, do you can you give me a sense of, I mean, it's, I'll just start with a general question, the power of words and thoughts? I bless you indeed. My dear friend, the power of your thoughts are extraordinarily uh, magnificent. I bless you indeed. This is because the thoughts, my dear friend, here, first and foremost, are indeed, my dear friend, here, expressions of energy that are not necessarily vocalized or expressed in words. So in Deep Minded Frontier, but truly, when you have the thought, and divided frontier, the brain then transfers it to indeed a version of words. So when you have the thought, you can have the thought without needing to write it down, but the thought itself is being spoken to you in essence, in a language. So in Deep Minded Frontier, the thought holds both what we call the unseen and the seen. So in Deep Minded Frontier, it's a very, very powerful thing. Now, indeed, it's even more powerful when you take that balance of the unseen and the seen and you write it down, God bless you indeed. For now, you're taking here the unseen, the thought process here, that does have a connection to indeed the words, whether or not you write them down. But if you do write them down, indeed, my dear friend here, it makes it even more powerful here. Now you're working, in essence, my dear friend here, with uh, two modalities instead of just one. So indeed, because this is your, uh, for most individuals here, not for all, but for most, indeed, my dear friend, truly, this is your most common form of communication, uh, thoughts and words. God bless you, indeed. You think about something, you relay it out, or you write it down. God bless you, indeed. Indeed, my dear friend, because that is, for most individuals, the most common formation of um, communication, then indeed, my infant here, what you are then communicating to the universal oneness as it concerns what you need, what you want, what you want to face, what you want to create, God bless you indeed. This is your most powerful avenue. It's the fastest vehicle to indeed, my infant, co-create what you want in life. God bless you indeed. Now, indeed, my infant, when one hones the experience of it, then indeed, my infant, truly here, oh goodness, your deep levels of meditation, just focusing upon energy, and even my infant here, deep levels of tonal expression. Indeed, my infant here, holding tones such as the OM, and indeed, my infant here, other tonality. These are actually, indeed, my infant, very, very masterful techniques of manifestation and power, but indeed, my infant, not many individuals here choose to engage in the energy of that. So indeed, the energy my dear friend of words and thoughts is upon your planet Earth some of the most common powerful uh, experiences here of creatorhood because it is the most common way here that individuals communicate. God bless you indeed. Now indeed, not everything here in the universal oneness is my dear friend create or uh, partners communicate my dear friend with language. So indeed, there's a universal language here of sound, of tone, God bless you indeed, of vibration, so to speak. So when individuals want to be powerful, powerful creators here upon the planet Earth, my infant, and they begin to investigate more and more work with tonality here and vibration, then indeed, my infant, truly here, it becomes very, very easy to manifest, extraordinarily easy here to design a life of absolute brilliance and magic and miracles here. 
But indeed, my dear friend, getting back yet to your question, how important or how powerful are thoughts and words? Upon your planet Earth right here and right now, indeed, my dear friend, they are good as some of the very most powerful. For indeed, my dear friend, it is the one way that most individuals communicate. It's always been sort of a challenge for me with meditation, or kind of what I mentioned before in a previous session that, for example, when I'm a mechanic, when I visualize an engine, it's tangible. I can see it, and I know how they, when I've got all these parts spread around and I'm going to put it together, I see the results. So it's easy for me to motivate myself because I can see it, it, the tangibility of it. But whereas, let's say, when I'm meditating, I, I, I Let's say, for example, I sit down and I imagine a golden sun above me and the light rays flowing down into me as healing. I mean, you know, sometimes it's hard for me because I don't feel anything. I don't sense, I don't feel any, anything happening, I guess I might say. That there's just nothing. So it's hard sometimes to motivate myself because I don't see the, the results of my efforts. Is it, when in that sense, is it... Is my visualization, when somebody visualizes that, for example, a golden sun, if they're using that visualization from the station and light coming down, is it happening exactly the way we're visualizing it, regardless of whether we see it or feel it or not? God bless you indeed. Wonderful question. It is more about one's intention than about what my infant one is powerfully visualizing. So indeed, my infant, for instance here, and this is why intention is so powerful, indeed, my infant, if you have an intention, so with your thoughts, and indeed, my infant, if you back it up with your words, that indeed you think and then say, my intention is to raise my vibration, or my intention is to expand my understanding of the all that is, my intention is to become a more open vessel for channel or indeed etc. Or even might have been very t tangible, my intention is to uh, create a powerful and loving relationship, my intention is to have more money etc. etc. I bless you indeed. If you set the intention then truly, it doesn't matter what you visualize, God bless you and deem. So we would like always, my dear friend, for an individual to choose the visualization that makes them feel good or resonates most powerfully to them. But if your intention, for instance, is to become a more powerful channel, and indeed, my dear friend, you set that intention both with thought and with word, indeed, my dear friend, then whether or not you visualize the sun beaming its rays down into your kundalini, my dear friend, here, or to open yourself up, or if you visualize, my dear friend, here, a sphere of light into the center of your chest, or if you visualize, my dear friend, here, 18 layers of light here swirling around you, or if you visualize, my dear friend, here, like a tree growing, uh, my dear friend, here, a trunk up through the center of my dear friend, here, the planet Earth, through the center of you, it doesn't matter what you visualize, it only matters how that visualization makes you feel. Does it resonate with you here? It is the intention that is most important. And then choosing a visualization here that is connected to the intention for you. Now, my dear friend, it makes it even more powerful. So if two individuals have the very same intention, but two different visualizations here resonate with them individually, then that's all right. I can bless you indeed. They can both create powerful channels. They can both create my different loving relationships or more money. But one might visualize here money raining down upon them. The other might even might visualize here, uh, goodness, that they are picking money from the ground. I can bless you indeed here. It matters not what uh, goodness the visualization is as long as it resonates with you. Do you understand? Yes, so if I wanted to, let's say, I wanted to be more open to to the oneness, to, for me to, for example, to say I, I sit down and um, I, I am with, with a loving intention, I just say, beloved God, I am open open to the all. That would, for in, with my intention being open, as opposed to, would, would be more productive, let's say, as opposed to some elaborate prayer where I didn't have the same intention. Yes, absolutely. You hit the nail upon the head. Indeed, my infant, oh. it takes very little to set an intention, God bless you indeed. And many individuals, and you may touch upon this in the project or simply just for your own awareness, many individuals as they're learning about their unification and about their oneness here with the all that is, are trying not to do it wrong. And so they say an elaborate prayer or they follow my infant here, a vision of meditation here that was given to them absolutely to the letter so that they can make sure that they're doing it right without the understanding here that they can't do it wrong. God bless you indeed. So as individuals begin to understand their unification, their oneness here, that there isn't a hierarchy. Indeed, my infant, truly setting an intention, indeed, that was all the work that's needed to be done. Now you just follow where your heart wants to lead or guide you here as it concerns the visual. God bless you indeed. When a guide who's watching over someone here on Earth sees someone that is about to do something bad, and he says we would characterize it, like murder somebody, do they try 
to, in a manner of speaking, try to intervene. Uh, just keep a short, short question simple at that point and just see what your response. Yes, God bless you indeed. So indeed, my dear friend, there is not necessarily an intervention by the guides as it concerns trying to keep an individual from doing something or to nudge them to do something else. The guides are always there, my dear friend, here to assist an individual in understanding who they truly are. So indeed, my dear friend, the guide is always doing their work anyway. Whether or not, my dear friend, the individual here is contemplating murder or contemplating turning left at a right hand lane turn anyway. Do understand? God bless you indeed. So indeed, my dear friend, the guide's work is never to ensure that something happens, nor to make sure something doesn't happen. The guide's work is always to open the individual up to the deeper lesson. God bless you indeed. Does it make sense? Okay, good options. There are different choices. God bless you indeed. Truly, in the mind, for instance, if the guide's work, is very specifically, is indeed to help the individual to remember here that indeed fear is an illusion, and that indeed, mind, for instance, they are always in powerful levels of control of the entire universe, that indeed that guide is working upon that expansive lesson every single moment of every single day here with this particular person, God bless you indeed. So indeed, in the very same way here, that, for instance, uh, goodness, yes, the individual here might say, I'm fearful to go upon the trip, but I know that the trip will be good for me. God bless you, indeed. The guide minded frontier will not necessarily be attached to whether or not the individual takes a trip or not, but indeed the guide here will work or nudge the individual to remind them that everything that they want exists outside of their comfort zone, that indeed if they can take a leap and indeed might even trust, that indeed might even all is well already here, that there could be great reward from that. So the guides do not have uh, attachment to what is done or not done. So the guide doesn't care, truly, whether or not my infant here, the individual, takes the trip or commits the murder at all. The guide, my infant here, is always working upon whether or not the individual gets the lesson. God bless you, indeed. Would you consider um, Earth to be an advanced school? Because as you stated, um, and as you stated in the last session, that Earth is a wonderful place to experience emotions, dualities, and and, I'm, and so uh, I'm trying to give the distinction in my story. That so, if one of you give me a sense of other worlds and the type of lessons presented there, just so I can make kind of comparisons. Yes, interesting question. We would not necessarily qualify it as an advanced school. We would qualify it as a specific school, God bless you indeed. So indeed, my infant, in the very same way here, that for instance here, you may or may not be able to use this here for the project. Indeed, my infant, it would be very difficult here for you to compare. Indeed, my infant, uh, goodness, for instance, one dance school to one school of photography, which is more advanced. You understand? God bless you, indeed. Indeed, my infant, yeah, they are both wonderful and profound schools, but one is for dance and one is for photography, and they can very, uh, very difficultly be compared. You understand? So, indeed, my infant, we would not say here that school, that Earth is an advanced school. But my infant it is very specific as it concerns the emotions and indeed my infant here your senses, etc. I can bless you indeed. If you speak in terms of technology, or indeed my infant the understanding that all things are existing in and out of form simultaneously. And then indeed my infant there are other places upon your universe and the universes beyond that indeed my infant here are more advanced in these experiences. Indeed dimensions here, incarnations, uh, God bless you, indeed my infant vibratory frequencies in which individuals my infant can very, very clearly understand that things do not need a form or that indeed my infant here, uh, goodness, you are the co-creator at all times. So it is really not necessarily about a hierarchy but about a specification of schools. Can you tell me about I mean, a specific world, um, another world, uh, may, I was going to say like Earth, but just a, a physical planet that, that does actually exist, and tell me something about it, and, and, and if it could be a planet that many here on Earth have actually experienced in, in a past, in, in their past, I mean, that would be a tremendous uh, um, assistance too, because then there might be some soul recognition, so I'll just kind of leave it open at that point. Yes, God bless you, indeed. Indeed, 
as it concerns a formation here of planets and indeed might infinity a physical form indeed might infinity truly here sometimes but this is not in the majority here but indeed might infinity there are very many I believe you indeed here upon the planet earth who indeed might infinity are working with specific levels here of unconditional love and indeed might infinity here learning here to love themselves profoundly judge themselves less judge others less I believe you indeed here and you are remembering the planet earth is a very good sport for indeed might infinity the experience of emotions. There is another planet, my dear friend here, who exists, my dear friend here, that individuals have incarnations with. Where indeed, my dear friend, goodness, the formation is not, my goodness, it does not look quite the very same as a human form. Indeed, there is quite a bigger mass, I bless you indeed here. The formation of individuals, my dear friend here, or beings upon this planet, are indeed, my dear friend here, rather massive, I bless you indeed here. Uh, rather big individuals here, big beings, I bless you. Indeed, indeed, my dear friend, and truly here, there is less a formation here of what you might call arms and legs and etc. I can bless you indeed here. And it is much more, my dear friend, here, of an experience that is able here to move, yes, but also here to be quite malleable to indeed my dear friend here connect oneself here to another individual I bless you indeed and in the polar planet my dear friend here these individuals these beings here are holding only love I bless you indeed that indeed my dear friend an extraordinary level of unconditional love here is indeed my dear friend the primary if not the only emotion here that is experienced but it is a wonderful planet my dear friend here a wonderful experience to incarnate within my dear friend here when individuals are wanting to experience very very profound levels of unconditional love but want to still do that with a body want to still do that with a form I bless you indeed so indeed my dear friend these are beings here who indeed my dear friend are connecting here to love and love itself truly my dear friend partnering with individuals here other individuals not based upon indeed physical attraction necessarily but based upon energetic connection almost solely I bless you indeed that indeed my infant here, uh, goodness, beings here are born out of indeed my infant here, a combination of love. That just as indeed my infant, when there is a connection here between two individuals upon the planet Earth, to human individuals, there is intercourse or indeed love making, I bless you indeed. Indeed my infant, the very same occurs upon a certain level upon this planet Earth, planet my infant here, but there is a melding of the bodies, a melding here in between, I bless you indeed, becoming literally one, I bless you indeed, that occurs my infant here, and this can, but does not necessarily need to, uh, my infant connect here to indeed my infant a birth of a child or a birth of another the being, I bless you and deem. Indeed, this is a planet by the which individuals who are wanting to indeed might have experienced love at its very, very depths, but still do it with a form. Indeed, my dear friend, it is a wonderful placement here for this. God bless you, indeed. And indeed, my dear friend, truly here, uh, goodness, there are, once again, as we talk about, not a majority of human beings, but many. Who are indeed might have experienced the human form, and indeed might have here have had incarnations here in that form, including you, my dear friend here, Kevin. You've had a lifetime here or two, in my dear friend here, upon this particular experience here of the universe, and indeed my dear friend truly here. It is a wonderful, wonderful experience for you always. It is just a melding of love, an experience of indeed deep frequency. God bless you indeed. This is but one here. I'm sure there are, I mean, I guess there are planets that have physical forms very similar to how we physically appear. I bless you, indeed. Indeed. There are beings, my dear friend, here, who are fairly similar, yes, I bless you, indeed. In particular, my dear friend, here, what we want for you to contemplate and also, my dear friend, to meditate upon here, as this, my dear friend, becomes more and more here, of um, opportunities here for expansion in your different projects. The variety, dear friend, of not only my dear friend human beings, but also animals upon your planet Earth, is indeed my dear friend, uh, quite a combination, quite a mix of indeed what exists upon other planets as well. God bless you indeed. So not just my dear friend him, animals, for instance, here, such as human beings that walk upon two legs, but indeed my dear friend him, uh, goodness, 
for instance, your cephalopods, Gablesh would be my infant, your uh, goodness, your octopuses, uh, Gablesh would be my infant here. Uh, these individuals here uh, are creatures who have indeed my infant many different formations here of uh, goodness legs or indeed my infant here phalanges here, what you might call it, uh, goodness, um, the availability here to um, transport themselves by different rather quickly here because of indeed the uh, extremities here in multiple numbers. This is very similar as well, Gablesh would deem. So many times here when you investigate live upon other planets, although there are similarities here, for instance, you might, uh, let us give you this, for instance, if you were to compare yourself to a crocodile, I bless you indeed, you would understand that a crocodile here has a head and indeed two arms and two legs, a very long tail, I bless you indeed, my infant here, a body, etc. Indeed, my infant human beings here very generally have a rather short tail, so to speak, here, just a tail bone usually, I bless you indeed. Indeed, my infant, you have two arms, two legs here, but instead of my infant here uh, walking in a horizontal position here upon the ground, you walk upon a vertical position, I bless you indeed. Indeed, your head is shaped differently here. Your eyes are in a slightly different placement, my infant, here of the head, etc. When you begin to contemplate or meditate here upon other species or other planetary beings, we are wanting very frequently for indeed, my infant, individuals here to step outside of what you might call the human conceptualized form. And you begin to look, my infant, here at other of your species here upon the planet Earth. Your uh, goodness, your um, well, goodness. Uh, less. It is less about birds, more, my infant, here about once again. Your gods are directing us here towards the amphibian nature, or indeed, my infant, truly here, uh, goodness, even uh, many things here that exist. In the oceans, God bless you indeed, and your physical oceans here are rather similar here to beings upon other planets, God bless you indeed. But indeed, there are planets in which my infant beings who look rather similar to human beings. For instance, if you had to make a being that looked like you but made small differences, indeed, my infant here, many of the occurrences that indeed your humanity has already had with off planetary beings, uh, goodness, my infant here, the greys, the greens, can bless you indeed, my infant here, the ETs of this sort, have a similar body shape or function, my infant here, as human beings. But indeed, my infant, so there are not only these beings here, but other beings like them, who indeed look rather similar. But more and more, we would like for human beings to become rather interested in what the beings look like here that are more like your animals than indeed your physical formations of humans. Do you understand? Does anatomy tend to be decided based on, like, uh, on the environment? Is what kind of sets the score? I'm not sure, like, because if it's a hotter sun, of course, they're going to need a, a more durable skin, for example. Yes, absolutely. It might have been it has quite a lot to do here with the environment and indeed my infant also here the, goodness, the beings availability here to intake um, goodness, certain gases or indeed my infant here molecules for instance here your availability my infant here as a human being needs to be able to process uh, oxygen God bless you indeed here emit carbon dioxide indeed my infant here truly there has to be a transfer of frequency of gases God bless you indeed so indeed my infant truly here this occurs on other planetary uh, planets wide infant here as well with other beings. Uh, in the very, for instance, the primary way that you ingest oxygen in the wide infant here is to breathe it in. Now, indeed, mind infant, as your lungs expand, indeed, mind infant here as you're giving yourself here this breath. Indeed, truly what you know here is that indeed the cells of your body also breathe in oxygen. That indeed, my infant, your skin is breathing, so to speak, here, although you're not aware of it here. Indeed, there are many beings here who don't necessarily need to take in oxygen to a lung uh, organ, so to speak, but indeed who seep it in, who bring in my infant here life force energy from the eddies of the realm. Also, my infant, there are beings here who thrive off in the my infant here. Either the sun or the moon energy, I bless you indeed here. So beings, my infant, that are absolutely here needing the sun's energy, I bless you indeed. So for instance, goodness, you as a human being here are benefited by the sun, certainly my infant here, uh, goodness here, you are, goodness, your vitamin D that it provides here, it's assisting here. But if you chose, for instance, 
to indeed never go out to see the sun again, if you never were in direct sunlight here, although my infant here, there would be small deficiencies here within your system, you could still survive. However, plants are unable to do that, plants are needing sunlight here to survive. So indeed, my infant, there are other beings here upon other planets that are needing their direct contact, either with indeed the sun's rays here, the reflection of them, indeed, my infant, in order to survive to seep up or to breathe in the oxygen or indeed my infant here, the gases that indeed are allowing care for them to maintain life. Do you understand? Yes, absolutely. Yes. God bless you indeed. How wonderful, yes? What a oh, glorious yeah, experience yeah. is here. Marvelous. Yes, goodness gracious, yeah. Just the tippy top of the iceberg of but one universe. Goodness gracious. We were assisted in some ways by our space brothers and sisters. Can you kind of go into that a little in more detail? Indeed. Speaking of human, human beings here being assisted, yes? This is your question, yes. yes. Our, our anatomy, I always just figured that, that, that they, I mean, I guess that I read or understood that, or it's contemplated that, that they affected our DNA to change our physical structures yes. to allow for a more intelligent being to reside. I mean, that's just kind of what I pondered. Absolutely, I believe you indeed. We absolutely see this mind infant here as being the case, that indeed mind infant, truly, as all things here are being assisted uh, through the unification, through the oneness, indeed mind infant here, uh, what you might call here the off planetary beings here, are our brothers, mind infant here, and sisters here in space, indeed mind infant assisting the human form in being able not only here to just survive, but indeed to thrive more and more powerfully. In the very same way my infant here, although there are no hierarchies here, so you could assume part in the metaphor, God bless you indeed. In the very same way my infant, that truly, if you brought in a plant, and indeed my infant, you tended it, you nurtured it, God bless you indeed here. You planted it, my infant here, in a wonderful soil, and indeed my infant, you sang wonderful songs to it here. You made sure that it got water and light, and indeed my infant here, you planted uh, wonderful things around it as well, God bless you indeed, that it would thrive, it would bloom, and indeed my infant, it would do so over and over again. Indeed, my infant here, the off planetary and alien brothers and sisters, my infant here, have done the very same as it concerns the connection here to humanity. This has not been done to you, but it has been done with you. Indeed, my infant, with truly here, the cosmic agreements, and indeed, agreement, my infant here. The cosmic agreement here that you were wanting as beings to indeed experience deeper and deeper levels of your connection to your oneness, your connection to the all that is, the universal energy, God bless you indeed. And so indeed, my infant, truly, in the very same way that a conscious individual might want to plant a plant in their backyard, God bless you indeed, but one that was very conscious here would ask either the seed or the plant that was being transplanted here to say, can I put you in my backyard? Could I uh, could plant you um, with other things or other vegetables here that would help you grow? And indeed, my infant, I would love to see you there. A conscious individual here would ask the plant before moving it here. So indeed, my infant, there was a conscious connection here between my infant human beings and indeed my infant, the off planetary beings. It was not done to you, but done with you here at your request at the energetic level. Do you understand? Yes. So yes. we were still as Darwin. We did, in, in general terms, our physical form did evolve from apes. I, I'm guessing that's the truth to that. Yes, that is true indeed. Indeed, absolutely. And we, we absolutely, my infant here, see that truly here there is a, an evolution here, indeed an adaptation here that occurs. There are leaps in that adaptation here. So many times here when one begins to study the scientific experiences here of evolution, for instance, indeed, my infant, there is, well, goodness, controversy, we'll see. And indeed, my infant, goodness, how all of your ancestors here, for instance, were uh, of uh, good as uh, primate uh, experience. Indeed, my infant, many individuals here will ask, uh, then where are the individuals here? Where are indeed my infant here, still the primitive cavemen or women, my infant here? Where are these particular individuals? And truly, uh, what is not being understood quite yet is there is a leap in technology, a leap, my infant, here in understanding, in which my infant with help here, from indeed my infant here, the off-planetary beings, indeed my infant, uh, you were available to indeed leap ahead of the evolutionary process a bit. So if indeed my infant evolving here, to indeed, uh, for instance here, 
understanding here how to make fire and indeed my different here then how to build powerful levels of structures here with machinery if evolutionary my different here were to take its place without help it's not going to take 200,000 years God bless you indeed then indeed my different here with your planetary beings help indeed my different cuts the time in half or even beyond that God bless you indeed so indeed my different many times here when individuals discuss evolution Indeed, what is not being spoken about or not quite understood yet is indeed the assistance, God bless you indeed. For instance, here, yeah, uh, well, you understand, of course, God bless you indeed, here, the very same way that indeed my infant uh, would, if you are able here, yeah, to um, assist a plant in growing taller, uh, would us with a wee bit my infant here, yeah, um, different seeding or indeed my infant here, yeah, um, crossing my infant two seeds together, you can assist it, my infant here yeah, into being bigger. That which my infant would have taken it hundreds and hundreds of years here to do seemingly by itself. At least you wouldn't. Does it make sense to you? Okay. To ask you then, kind of like just to get a more complete answer. Now, had it, uh, the, the anatomy not been evolved in a sense, then then a soul would be with the potential, uh, with the awareness of, let's say, of an Einstein. I mean, it wouldn't be able to be, wouldn't adapt to a. a to a Neanderthal man to be just because the, the, the computer system is too small to accommodate the, the intelligence, I guess I'm, I'm saying that makes sense. Gablish one Indeed. So indeed, my dear friend. Yes, 100%. Indeed, now, good as you're there, Einstein here, a powerful channel, I believe you, an extraordinary meditator, I believe you, indeed, my dear friend here, although he may not have called it that. Indeed, my dear friend, truly, for instance, how wonderful. We love the discussions. God bless you indeed. Indeed, to give my infant here, uh, Neanderthal man here, once again, uh, good as the um, technology to indeed my infant here uh, construct a spaceship. God bless you indeed here. It would not be available to indeed that particular being here to construct a spaceship, but it would be available for that particular being here to indeed my infant here have a more in-depth form of writing or indeed to introduce them here to a bit of mathematics to understand the issue indeed. And indeed my infant from this here, uh, once again, my infant here, if you are teaching someone, my infant, not just what to do, but how to indeed my infant do it again. Uh, once again, my infant here, to begin to shift, not just out of survival, but into thriving here, to allow for them to understand just uh, slightly more powerfully how to use the brain, not just my infant here to manifest something, but how to use the brain to indeed my infant here use the brain more deeply, I bless you indeed. So absolutely here, you've already got it, but indeed my infant in the stages here that have been assisted by indeed your off-planetary brothers and sisters, indeed my infant, truly, these were leaping ahead in increments, but you can't go from one to ten in one particular century, so to speak, I believe you indeed that I must be breaking it down here into parts, segments here, does that make sense to you? Yes, 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 okay. So, I mean, in, in one more context, it'd be in the same way as, uh, like, now, of course, we're in a, in a computer age, and now in, in, in it's evolving so fast with, I mean, one computer becomes obsolete, they build another one that's twice as powerful in, in a short period of time. So, in, in effect, that's what they did. They allowed the mind, they expanded the potential of the mind to allow for greater understanding. So and it could be put in terms in that computer analogy. Yes, absolutely. God bless you indeed here. Yeah. Wonderful analogy, absolutely. Indeed, my dear friend, once again, if you introduce, if there is not an introduction here to the wheel, and then there is an introduction to the wheel, Indeed, truly, my infant here, that expedites, indeed, my infant here, many other things. It is a tipping point of sorts, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. absolutely. You've got it. I bless you, indeed. I'm sure you've heard of the terms of um, Akasha or the Akasha records. Can you kind of share with me what that, those ter what that term means from your perspective? I bless you, indeed. The Akasha records, my infant here, goodness, is an energy. Of indeed, my infant here, goodness, what we'll call the all that is, or the memory of all things, God bless you indeed. There are much talk here about the Akasha records, God bless you indeed. And indeed, my infant, from our perspective, remembering first and foremost that there's only one energy, and that even my infant in the ethical, that things my infant here are not separated into rooms or to actual records, or indeed, my infant here, goodness, the very same way that you might envision a lie 
library in your physical formation by different part of planet Earth. A physical library where the Akashic records exist does not exist, can be issued indeed. However, Indeed, might infant the energy of such a place, so to speak, or an energy of this structure does. Indeed, might infant once again will use the word place rather loosely here. But indeed, might infant the Akashic records here is indeed might infant truly a space or a vault, once again rather loosely used, in which might infant here the history of the all that is and all that will be here exists. Now, one of the wonderful things might infant here about this. And indeed, my dear friend, here it is gently talked about here. Is it once again remembering that there is no time and space? So every single experience here in the Akashic records is constantly shifting, constantly changing here. So indeed, my dear friend, in the very same way here. That, as we've talked about, if you are making expansive levels here of work right here and right now upon the planet Earth, then indeed, my dear friend, that is affecting, <coughs> God bless you, indeed, and expanding. Indeed, what you would consider your past and your future lifetimes can be issue indeed. So indeed, my dear friend, the information here is consistently shifting. And indeed, my dear friend, here, uh, but also the memory of what it would look like if it had not shifted is also available there. So indeed, it's a wonderful, extraordinary energy here in which, my dear friend, everything exists in what you might call here a solid state or indeed a state of seeming stagnation, constant stagnation, and yet simultaneously it is ever-changing. God bless you indeed. So indeed, once again, in the very same way, for instance, here, uh, goodness, this is the very best metaphor here we can uh, find in the moment here. In the very same way, my dear friend, the truly, your scientists are beginning here to do more and more research with the understanding here that particles can exist in two different places at once, one particle in two different places at the very same time. It is here and it is also there. God bless you indeed. This does not make sense here to the human mind, for indeed, my dear here, the concepts of structure and indeed, my dear where something is, you're going to see this shakes and rattles and rolls that particular concept up. God bless you indeed. And yet, my dear the Akashic records are both, indeed, my dear constantly changing and also housing the very history or what you might call the memory of what it would look like if it had never changed. God bless you indeed. Does this make sense to you, my dear friend? Yeah, I never looked at it from that concept. Uh, I mean, the one this principle that stands out is that comes to mind is uh, Andrew Casey's reference when he was asked like what he could recall when he was doing a past life reading, and uh, the, the example that he used that he would basically described that he would uh, go to a library and there was this elderly gentleman who would be handing him the, way, the records based on the person that he was doing a life reading for. Mm -hmm. And it was always, I guess, he just felt compelled to uh, to see it in a tangible form so because he knew that that's what people were going to, uh, would be able to identify with and, and it would have the most understanding and the most credibility, perhaps. Mm -hmm. But that's how it was shown to him. And so and that's in my story. I mean, there's going to be aspects which I'm kind of, I'm going to have to explain it in very tangible terms, but I, I yeah, that's, that's a, a very wonderful twist idea of things that could have happened or what might have been or kind of like on It's a Wonderful Life had like, I don't know if you know that story where mm -hmm. somebody, had he never existed, how the world would have been different mm -hmm. had, without his contribution and his love and his, his just being a part of the world around him. Mm -hmm. So that that's a very, true. very interesting concept. Yes, wonderful, absolutely. And indeed, my dear friend, wonderful, uh, goodness reminder, uh, goodness as it concerns the Edgar Kesey here, that when indeed, my dear friend, individuals, including yourself, are beginning to understand the nuances of energy and indeed spirit, that indeed, my dear friend, here, the mind will show it to you here, the spirit, my dear friend, here, the universal oneness will show it to you in a way that can make sense to the mind, in a way, my dear friend, here, that the mind can process. Indeed, uh, there is no need for physical formation here in you could just the old it is, and it might have been the visual of indeed might have been going to the library here. It's something that allowed here for indeed the Edgar Casey here to open up to indeed might have here increase the availability here of his channeling. Excellent work. Reminding individuals of this too, that no matter how the mind sees it, it's all right, I can bless you indeed here. And he might have truly, if goodness might have been here, we sat uh, 10 individuals in a room and asked them here to draw a picture of what love was. You'd very frequently come with 10 different pictures, I believe you indeed here. 
This is the very same way. No matter how the mind sees it, it is always all right here. This is why we always like to tell individuals that they can't mess it up, hip hip hooray. Now, is it possible to kind of um, go look into Akisha and the, from, the, from the point of this question to give me uh, the average number of lifetimes that, it, that a soul, uh, given all the souls on Earth, if you can get a, like an average number of lifetimes that it takes from the time that they first enroll here and until they finally graduate, where some perhaps learn it quickly and do it at a few lifetimes, and some take a hundred lifetimes. Can you, is it possible to give me an average? Publish, would you? So, my dear friend, let us make sure we understand the question. Are you asking my dear friend here that when they enroll, for instance, with the school metaphor here, as you talk about, enroll in the school of planet Earth until they graduate here to indeed my dear friend here, choosing to not, for instance, not need to come back or not to have the inclination here to come back? How many lifetimes here is now on the average? Is this the question, dear friend? Right, well, yes. until they completed their karma, which is the way that I've, I'm kind of in steering, steering, steering in the direction that that when you complete your karma, that you're, there's not a, a compulsion, compulsion to come back, even though I, I know that there's not. Yes. It's always a free choice, but, but yeah, um, from start to finish, I mean, they, they answer that however you, it seems appropriate. Yes, God bless you indeed, yeah. Indeed, my dear friend, goodness, I bless you indeed. The average my dear friend here, quite wonderful here. The average my dear friend in the moment here is about 108, I bless you indeed. Indeed, my dear friend, goodness, it varies wildly, I bless you indeed here. But the average at the moment here is about 108 lifetimes here until an individual, uh, goodness, my dear friend, completes their karma, as you talk about here, and then, just as you mentioned, has the choice about whether or not they're wanting to come back. They might come Come back here for indeed my different experiences of just play, of just learning my different here without attachment here, etc. About 108 here is the current average. Okay, kind of a play on what, what, you, what the, the joke that Don made in your book, or you made a comment that some slow souls are just very slow learners. Kind of mm -hmm. play on that, where some, of where I always took that as a reference that some people just just pick up certain lessons quicker than others. Yes, Kabesh Wundi. And indeed, my dear friend, uh, quite true. The very same way, my dear friend, for instance, here, that indeed some individuals here that you talk often, my dear friend, here about uh, goodness understanding here, the mechanics of a car, I believe, you, the automobile here, that there are some individuals, my dear friend, here, who might like to know how to change their oil, but indeed don't necessarily need or want here to know how to rebuild an engine. And indeed, my dear friend, here, there are other individuals here who not only want to know how to rebuild the engine, but indeed, my dear friend, how to rewire here the radio and also, my dear friend, here, to change or indeed, my dear friend, transfer the tires, even my dear friend, how to make a tire or indeed how to construct their own engine here, etc. God bless you indeed. So often, it is also my dear friend, not only just about an individual picking up certain things here more quickly, but also my dear friend, about their interest in goodness, the lessons, or how deep to go, God bless you indeed, what they find fascinating here. Again, uh, to put it another way, there are some individuals, my dear friend, here, that would go upon the playground, that want to make sure that they ride the slide, and the swing set, and the monkey bars, and indeed, my dear friend, here, uh, goodness, the carousel here. And there are some individuals here who just want to know everything about the carousel, God bless you indeed. And so indeed, my dear friend, the individuals, who indeed might have been, it varies, yeah, but dependent upon their karma, the individuals might have been that are wanting to get down to the very, very nitty gritty of things, God bless you indeed, have a tendency to live more lifetimes here than those that indeed might have been are just taking a bit of everything here, God bless you indeed. There are no rights or wrongs, but indeed might have been individual souls here that are fascinated by the mechanics of certain things here, want to know it powerfully, deeply, God bless you indeed, frequently, because these are individuals that fall in love with the journey more quickly. And indeed, my dear friend here, they choose here to come back down to the planet Earth more frequently. Not my dear friend, they complete their karma usually uh, more quickly, but they return to the planet Earth to indeed simply be guides or mentors or playmates, God bless you indeed here. Does that make sense to you? Sure, and I mean, getting back to what you were just saying before, it was saying it's like somebody going to school here and getting a degree in business and making what they can complete in four years, where somebody who wants to get a degree in medicine, which requires 10 or 15 years, neither is better or worse, it's one just requires, uh, there's a bit more information, so it just takes a little longer. Yes, absolutely, you've got it, hip hip hooray. 
in the Old Testament, it talks about, I don't remember, Noah and Moses, 800 years, 900 years. I'm assuming it's understood that they actually lived in those time periods, in years as we understand them. Kablish wouldn't even... We're good. There are my different here. Um, certainly, uh, some allowances being taken. At least, indeed, here as it concerns the literature, my different here, um, on the accuracy, my different of certain other, my different here, length of time periods in which individuals lived, or indeed, my different here, um, the length of time here that certain individuals took to do certain things. And it might different. It is quite true. That upon certain levels, my infinitum, not only in your past lifetimes here, but also in the future lifetimes upon the planet Earth, that individuals here have the capability here and the possibility of living many, many years longer than indeed my infinitum you would currently think is available in the moment here. So indeed my infinitum, it is uh, truly here, it was uh, not uncommon, Gabriel, indeed here, or goodness, we shall see that it was more common than it is now upon your planet Earth for individuals here to live past 100 years of age. Indeed, specifically here in certain areas by the here on the planet Earth, Kablishu indeed. So indeed, there are certain liberty, liberties by different being taken as it concerns the Bible here and the stories within it. But indeed, by different, all in all, although we do not necessarily see individuals here living for 800 years, indeed, by different, or uh, goodness, an 800 year period of time, etc. Kablishu indeed. It is indeed my different here, has been and is still my different in the future, common for individuals here to live upwards of indeed my different 200 years, indeed my different here and beyond. I bless you indeed, absolutely. Now, why, why would we were associated like living, I think Moses lived 980 and, you, and um, Noah lived, would that to give them, like make them out to be towering figures? Or I'm not, or, I mean, why, why would they specifically write that into scripture, those specific dates and lengths of time? What would be the analogy or the metaphor to be taught by that? By having, bringing, writing that specifically. Yes. What we see my different here is that yes, indeed my different, uh, good as writing the, writing the, good as the length of time, or indeed my different here, the age, giving it my different here additional years, provides a slight level of what you might consider hierarchy, I bless you indeed. That indeed my different, in these particular stories here, indeed my different as they are, um, mirroring, uh, working in parallel my different here at times, with many my different here of the uh, good Greek stories here, the Latin stories, God bless you indeed here, uh, good as the Greek or Roman gods here, etc. So indeed my different in the very same way here, that when indeed my different you write a particular story or a literature, God bless you indeed, wanting to have a lesson be told, indeed my different to give your hero or your heroine here uh, quite, a, what one might call here, slightly lengthy or indeed my different extra uh, experience Experiences here that are seemingly beyond human being. Then indeed, my infant truly. Yes, I believe you indeed. Then indeed, my infant truly here. Good as this person is deified, or at the very least, my infant here honoured more specifically here than a regular human being, and therefore, my infant the lesson here is taken under context more humbly, more openly. Do you understand? Yes, yes, I do. Yes, yes, you are welcome. I believe you indeed here. Can you tell me about baptism and its purpose and benefits? I bless you indeed. Goodness, baptism, my dear friend here, goodness, uh, whether or not my different you're speaking here of one religion or another here, even my different rituals here, and indeed my different experiences here of uh, goodness tradition, in particular my different forms of society, etc. Indeed, spiritually, dear, goodness, the baptism here is something that is man-made. Yes, God bless you indeed. So indeed, my dear friend, you are born, from our perspective here, you are born of the essence of God, from the essence of God, and you house the essence of God. So indeed, my dear friend here, goodness, when an individual here is wanting to perform or to receive a baptism here, it is uh, neither good nor bad, God bless you indeed from our perspective, many times in religious experiences or belief systems here. Indeed, the baptism here would be saying that indeed my different individual here is now uh, crowned or indeed my different uh, goodness beautifully marked or indeed my different here now powerfully in the bosom of God or indeed my different here one of God's own, one of God's chosen here is now recognizable by God. But indeed my different 
we see here that a child is born with this nonetheless, completely sure indeed. The baptism itself is completely unnecessary here from our perspective. However, indeed might be different. The ritual of the baptism here in many different cultures or indeed might be different here, belief systems here, the, the tradition of the, of the baptism might be different houses a very warm and very good as high vibrational emotion and feeling for those involved within it, I believe sure indeed. So indeed, when a family gathers together to indeed might infant baptize a small child, indeed goodness, to have the family not only experience the unification, indeed the reminder here that this little one here is a rebirth in and as all of them. A reminder that indeed might infant here, this little one coming into the fold as it concerns their belief system here, strengthens that which they already know. Indeed, there is goodness in this, I believe you indeed. Religions are not necessary from our perspective, but indeed might infant here, many times, the ways that might infant individuals here experience religion here, to indeed might infant have a vehicle or a vessel here, that indeed might infant helps them to understand God more powerfully. Goodness, this is all right. We say hip hip pray to this, I believe you indeed. It is not necessary, but indeed my different with the very same ways in which my different truly if indeed my infant, why goodness you would like to indeed my infant say a grace over a meal, or indeed my infant here to goodness my infant here have a red shawl while one is meditating here. None of these things are necessary, but indeed my infant if they connect you to what you already know, which is indeed you are connected at all times here to the oneness of God. Indeed, any talisman side infant here or ritual such as this, we say hip hip to them if they raise the vibration here and open up the hearts of individuals. God bless you indeed. Indeed, my infant. Goodness, spiritually, the baptism I did from here, goodness, is not necessary. But the strengthening many times of the family around the ritual indeed assists, indeed, my did from here in raising the vibration here, the frequency. God bless you, indeed. From a spiritual perspective, you know that I already know the answer to this question. But from an Earth perspective, in your opinion, what is the most accurate religion or the one that comes closest to the truth? I bless you, indeed. Indeed, my dear friend. What a wonderful question. Indeed, my dear friend, yeah. it's rather difficult to answer. For indeed, my dear friend, yeah, most of your primary religions here upon the planet Earth and indeed, my different here, religions, good as based upon experiences here out of literature, predominantly my different here, written by good as individuals, written by different here by humans, indeed my different and predominantly from our perspective here. Indeed, my different, although there are many, many good as my different here scriptural texts that indeed my different are written through channeling, so to speak. Indeed, my different good as. The saints and indeed my infant here prophets were given information here from the spirit in the very same way my infant here that has been uh, described in many many other experiences here upon your planet earth in many many years and will continue to be so here so indeed almost all of your if you look at my different religious texts almost all of some of them pardon us some of almost all of them are channeled god bless you indeed here so there is truth in all religions, God bless you indeed. But truly from our perspective, my dear friend here, there is not one that is more connected to truth. If indeed my dear friend, goodness, one is not including here one's own religion of the heart. Goodness, religions predominantly, my dear friend, are, goodness, they are institutions here for the most part as it concerns connection here to man, to indeed my infant here, good as separation here, to giving up one's own power, to seeing hierarchy, God bless you indeed. So indeed my infant here, good as we like to tease a little bit here, that if there was one religion my infant here that is closest to the truth, indeed my infant here, uh, the very powerful aspects of the most receptive levels of science from our perspective, my dear friend here, would be the most accurate or the most powerful, uh, goodness, uh, what you might deem as religion of truth. For indeed, my dear friend, the action of science is a constant state of wonderment. 
When indeed might infinity uh, well, uh, an individual here can be in a constant state of wonderment. When indeed might infinity certainly here there are no uh, definitives here. When indeed uh, good as individuals here are being asked to actively question things, to indeed might infinity look into why does that work? Do I believe that still will work? Has it worked before? I believe sure indeed. Indeed, the constant state of awareness, the constant state of questioning or fascination or wonderment, Kabbalishu indeed. From our perspective, this makes uh, good as the, uh, if you can denote a mind infant here, science as a religion, although certainly mind infant here, the very definition of a religion here is quite different. Indeed, mind infant, the religion of love, the religion of questioning, the religion here of fascination is most powerful here to the truth. Any and all religions here that might house separation or uh, good as mind infant here, the goods and bads, the rights and the wrongs, can be issue indeed here. Indeed, mind infant, from our perspective, only one perspective in the universe. Truth is God. God can be defined in many different ways. Indeed, mind infant here, we like to define God here as love, as perfection, as connection, as all that is, can be issue indeed. And indeed, mind infant here, love cannot be upset. Connection cannot be wrathful. Indeed, my infant here, a goodness presence of joy or perfection does not get angry. Indeed, love does not require worship. Indeed, my infant connection does not require your adoration. It simply, my infant here, is. So if indeed, my infant, you are reading a particular religious texts that would indeed, my infant here, talk about God in such a way, that indeed my infant here, uh, goodness, the God uh, requiring worship, requiring my infant here, uh, goodness, or getting angry, being wrathful here. We are not necessarily saying that these are right or wrong, but we are saying is that indeed my infant here, there is a difference of perception there. Yes, God bless you indeed. Meaning my infant here, that truly, um, we do not condemn or condone any one particular religion. But if indeed by infant here, an individual follows a particular religion, it makes them feel wonderful. If it increases their connection with God, however they define it, and indeed therefore they live lives of more love, of more joy, of more bliss, of more presence, if they feel more connected to everything because of their religion and their worship within it, then we say hip hip hurry. But if indeed by infant here, the religion causes an individual here to feel separate from another, or to indeed my infant here encourage wrath, or indeed my infant here uh, goodness of difference, etc. Indeed, my infant, we would ask for an individual to meditate upon this. Nothing can exist in more truth than indeed my infant here, the essence of your own heart. The answers are always within you here. So many times, there are not goods or bads, but many times an individual will follow a particular religion, not only because it feels good, but because indeed my infant here, they have been taught to do it but not my infant necessarily here taught to follow the religion of their heart. Indeed, my infant, the power, the presence, the intuition. Indeed, your own internal guidance system, your own internal heart, your internal wisdom. This, my infant, here is the most powerful religion of truth. Mm. I bless you, indeed, from our perspective. Tell me about the flood of Noah. Did it happen? When it happened? What was it? I mean, I always had the sense of it, from my understanding, that it was at one of the periods, at the, one of the top, top times, at one when Atlantis sank, or one of the at one of the periods of the sinking of Atlantis. But I guess, given the timeline as I did my research, it seems to be after the sinking of Atlantis. So just tell me whatever about the, the flood of Noah. Yes, completely sure indeed. So indeed, my infant here. Yes, we see my infant here that the Atlantis and the Atlanteans, my infant here, uh, goodness, were much prior here to this particular flood. The story in your literature, my infant here, uh, goodness, in your scripture, speaks of indeed a complete planet, uh, goodness, regeneration here, a complete uh, devastating flood of your entire planet Earth. Indeed, my friend, what we see here is although my infant here, a flood of this existed, God bless you indeed. Indeed, my infant, it was certainly not an entire flooding of your entire planet Earth. In the very same way, my infant, here, that right here and right now, uh, goodness upon your planet Earth, that there are um, rising temperatures of, indeed, my infant, here, extraordinary levels uh, within your atmospheres. And, indeed, my infant, there are melting here of your uh, polar ice caps, can place you, indeed, here. There is a, uh, goodness, mm, yes, there's quite a lot occurring here with your atmospheric pressure here. Indeed, my infant, the Earth is undergoing shift and 
change, which it did mind until during the time of this particular story here as well that is being referenced. Indeed, there was mighty different quite a lot of flooding, or indeed mighty different here, goodness, not only here the melting of ice cups, but also mighty different here flooding here caused by rain, certainly, but nothing mighty different here in comparison to the drama or the dramatic experience here, if you will, of indeed mighty different here, the literature. So indeed, goodness, this is a reciting or a retelling of stories mighty different here from generation to generation to generation, written down in scripture, God bless you indeed, but indeed this is about a renewal, about a rebirth. Indeed, my different the story itself, although referencing an actual event, although much less my different to a degree here than was in the story. Indeed, the story is meant my different here to teach the lesson of renewal. That indeed my different all things here can be goodness baptized, so to speak, as it concerns the renewal energy, and that when indeed my different here the individuals that are understanding their connection to the all that is and indeed listening to their hearts, listening here to indeed my different what is being whispered to them in one form or another. That when individuals do this, well, goodness gracious can bless you indeed, then they can not only survive, but indeed my different to thrive in indeed my different the what is the co creation and indeed my different the balance here with all harmonious beings, all individual things and indeed my different animals upon this fair planet Earth, can bless you indeed. So indeed it is a retelling of an occurrence, but an occurrence to a much lesser degree than indeed my different in the scripture. To understand. So no, I did not build an ark and put two animal, two giraffes and two elephants in as the story unfolds. God bless you, indeed. We do not see here the bided from the truly. This, in its specificity, occurred. Certainly not. God bless you, indeed. Okay. Indeed, my infant, we do see here that indeed, my infant, through the retelling of the story, that indeed, my infant, that there is a lesson to be taught here as it concerns the connection with indeed, my infant, the planet Earth, and indeed, my infant, the connection to understanding here that when one lives in harmony with the planet Earth, and indeed, my infant, here to all of the energies in the universe of oneness, then everything supports itself. Everything supports one another. I bless you indeed. So it is more my infant about the lesson, less about the accuracy of the story from our perspective, yes?